Back to school can be an exciting time, getting to see friends again mm -hmm. and showing off those cool new shoes and, and backpacks and starting up some new activities. Yeah, it's a fun time for sure, but the pressures and unknowns of a new year can also cause some stress and anxiety. So we're welcoming Michael Benjamin this morning. He's a therapist at Prairie Care in Rochester. We appreciate you being here early this morning. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's an important topic. Uh, we're talking about a bunch of new things for kids this time of year, going back to school, all those new things mm -hmm. to have and uh, take with them. What, can you, what could you say would be some of the things that they're feeling right now and what's kind of triggering that? Yeah, I think a lot of kids are probably feeling uh, a lot of anxiety and, and nerves and stress as they start the school year, uh, meeting new classmates, maybe a new teacher. Um, for some students, it's going to a new school. Mm -hmm. And so all of those things can be kind of scary for kids. I think yeah. we remember some of that anxiety. <laughs> so for any kids or teenagers getting ready this morning and, and this program is on, what are some things they can keep in mind to kind of start off the year strong? Yeah, I think it will be helpful to have a set routine every day, a daily routine that includes, you know, a good bedtime, nutrition, um, sleep, mm -hmm. you know, getting good sleep every day <laughs> and exercise. But establishing a good daily routine, I think, is helpful for kids. Yeah, it's really the little things, too, that can make mm -hmm. a big difference. And maybe uh, starting over time, too, that building mm -hmm. those things can be helpful as mm -hmm. well. We know that back to school isn't only just for kids, right? Mm -hmm. That can be a stressful time for kids. Also for families and parents, mm -hmm. yeah. too, wanting their kids to, you know, go starting off the school right. What can parents keep in mind? I think parents can really help encourage their kids um, on a daily basis to set that routine, that daily routine, getting good sleep and nutrition, like I said. Um, I think as parents, uh, we have our own anxiety sometimes. We want our kids to succeed and have a good school year and be happy. And so reminding ourselves as parents to not let our own anxiety um, mm. get passed on to our own kids because they can, they can perceive that and feel that. Um, and I think as, as parents, we're wired to um, want our kids you know, to nurture them and protect them and not, you know, not, we don't wanna see them uh, anxious and, and nervous. Uh, and I think it's important to, even though we're feeling that anxiety, to, to encourage them and push them to face those fears and face mm -hmm. that anxiety. And I think we all remember uh, during the pandemic, one of the loud and clear messages was, it's not uh, something to be shy about mm -hmm. reaching out for help. Correct. And um, there are resources at places like Prairie Care mm -hmm. uh, where you can call and and, uh, and talk to someone about all this. Uh, thanks so much, Michael, for <laughs> yeah. getting up early with us today. Mm -hmm. We Thank hope everyone has a first <laughs> great day back at school and, and great first week. Here's Ted. <laughs>